Welcome back to another college football video in which today we have an SEC matchup between the Florida Gators and the Texas A&M Aggies. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. And if you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Appreciate all the support. And so without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Texas A&M will start off with the ball to start off the game. And the Swamp is going electric as the pulse meter is all the way up. And the pass is deflected by the Florida defender. And Texas A&M will have to punt the ball back to the Florida offense. Here on 1st and 10, the quarterback works the right side of the field quickly and gets it over into A&M territory at the 40-yard line. And Wilson celebrates with the Gator Chomp after that catch. And let's take a look at the replay right there as the receiver had lots of open space and got a key block on the inside part of the field. Here on 3rd and 10, Mertz has time in the pocket, will shuffle around, and will dump it off to the running back who cuts back to the middle of the field and gets the first down inside the red zone at the 18-yard line as Johnson Jr. once again gator chomps as the first quarter comes to a close as we are tied up at 0 apiece. Here on 3rd and 5, Graham Mertz works the right side of the field and the ball falls incomplete and Florida will have to settle for a field goal attempt right here. The ball is snapped, the kick is up and right through the uprights as the Gators score the first points of the game taking a 3-0 lead over the Aggies here in the start of the second quarter and the ball almost got blocked on both sides of the defending edge. Great job by the kicker to get it through. Here on 1st and 10, the quarterback has time in the pocket, all the time in the world as he creates great protection up front. And the ball is caught at the 41-yard line by number 18, Green. And the A&M sideline celebrates in that catch. And let's take a look at the replay right there, as there was no defender near the receiver as the A&M start at the 41 here on 2nd and 12, the quarterback has time in the pocket and will work the left side of the field as he gets a crossing receiver who takes it into Florida territory at the 40-yard line right there. Here on 1st and 10, the quarterback has time in the pocket and will throw it out to the flat and the receiver will get it inside the 5 for a A&M 1st and goal at the 4-yard line. Here on first and goal, the quarterback has time in the pocket, has all the time in the world, and tries to force one into tight coverage, but it is picked off by the Florida defense. Number 14 comes up with the interception as he says hi to the crowd, and he gator chomps into the camera alongside his teammates. And let's take a look at the replay right here as the swamp goes electric. That was Jordan Castell, the sophomore, that comes up with that pick. And the quarterback had all the time in the world and should not have tried to force that error. That is a pass he would love to have back. Florida offense is back on the field, snaps the ball quickly, and completes it to the receiver on the right side of the field, taking it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Here on 1st and 10, the quarterback has time in the pocket and works the middle of the field as he completes it to his receiver, number 3, who will take it into A&M territory as Florida will use their first timeout of the half with 46 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Here on 1st and 10, on the play right after, the quarterback has time in the pocket, surveys the field, and completes it to the left hand side as they get another first down at the 24 yard line. Here on third and 10, Mertz has time in the pocket and will check it down to the middle of the field, completing it to number 17, who takes it inside the 15 
for a Florida first and 10 with 18 seconds remaining and one timeout. Here on first and 10, the quarterback will work it to the left side of the field and he will be stopped short of the goal line at the 1. Here on first and goal, Mertz gets a jet sweep and the receiver is stopped behind the line at the 4. And with time winding down, Florida will use their last timeout and go for a field goal attempt. Florida sets up for a field goal attempt. The kick is up and through the uprights and the Gators will double their score as they take a 6 to nothing lead over Texas A&M. That was a perfect snap, perfect hold, and a perfect kick. Great execution by the Florida special teams. Florida will get the ball to start off the second half and here on the first play, first and 10, Merce tries to escape but is smashed in by the A&M edge, that is number four, that comes up with the sack. And this will bring up a second and 17 for the Gators to start off the second half. And that was the left edge, Shamar Stewart, that comes up with the sack as he goes straight for the quarterback. The swamp is going electric as the stadium pulse meter is going all the way up. And they hand the ball off to the running back who gets to about midfield at the 48-yard line for another Texas A&M first and 10. That was Moss on the carry. Here on first and 10, the quarterbacks hand it off to the running back who takes it to the right side of the field and cuts back up to the middle for an A&M first and 10. That is Moss with another carry. Here on 2nd and 5, the quarterback works the middle of the field and completes it to his tight end for the first down at the 13-yard line. That is Miller with the reception, just under 330 remaining here in the 4th quarter. Here on 2nd and 7, the quarterback works the middle of the field quickly and cuts upfield as Texas A&M score a touchdown. As number seven comes up with the reception and celebrates dancing in the end zone with his teammates. And Texas A&M are going to take a 7-6 lead over Florida with 240 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And that was Moose Muhammad III who fought his way into the end zone fighting for the last few yards. Here on second and ten, quarterback works the middle of the field and the pass is caught and completed to number eight who takes it up to the 42 yard line as he gator chomps his way in celebration here on first and ten mertz has time in the pocket delivers it over the left side of the field completed to number six as he gator chomps his way and flips the field and gets florida in field goal position which is just enough to take the lead over AM. It is now third and one for Florida. They're going to try to run it up the middle, but are met by AM defenders as they are going to use their fi first timeout of the half. And here on fourth and two, Florida are setting up for a field goal attempt. And the ball is snapped, kick is up, and right through the uprights. And Florida are going to take a 9 to 7 lead over AM with a few minutes remaining left in the game. It is now 4th and 10 for AM. The swamp goes electric and they got to get it right here. The pass is completed but falls just short of the line to gain. And Florida are going to take over on downs and let the clock run down to triple zeros. And the Florida Gators are going to defeat the Texas AM Aggies nine to seven let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be if you like this type of content like and subscribe it really helps the channel out as we are on the road to 1000 subscribers if you're a fan of college football and the nfl stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one take care